Ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my right and in the red corner, from Portsmouth, Bob Kirkwood. His opponent on my left and in the blue corner, winner of the Best Dressed Wrestler of the Year Award, ladies and gentlemen from Hexall, Pat Weasel. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for this afternoon's wrestling, the international third man, Max Wall. Good afternoon to you, and here at the Fairfield Hall, Croydon, another freestyle wrestling session is on its way to you, and we start this afternoon's program with a catchweight bout between Bob Kirkwood of Portsmouth and Cat Weasel of Doncaster. Six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner, and this should be quite amusing. Cat Weasel, a great comedian, but not a bad wrestler, but I'm afraid that he's got a lot of trouble against a man that's taller than a half he heavier than he is, of the experience of Bob Kirkwood from Portsmouth. Cat Weasel with the long blonde hair and the striped trunks there. Getting out of that one, all right. Max Ward, the referee, Max Ward of Birmingham. Cat Weasel, of course, came in uh, to the ring with his uh, toad. I, I, I remember calling that a frog one day, and I got an awful lot of letters accusing me of not watching the program. I'm afraid I never did see the Cat Weasel program, so I don't know. But apparently it's a toad. Full Japanese stranglehold to uh, Kirkwood into a backhand. Kirkwood, the clean-cut fellow from uh, Portsmouth, is, is going to be in for a lot of uh, tricks and, and comedy here against him, all at him here this afternoon. But knowing him, he'll take it beautifully. He's got the weight advantage, so if he gets in with the strength holes, he could stop any uh, of the tricks or Cat Weasel's tricks. Semi-jet stranglehold now. Do you want 
character and a tremendously nice guy with it this fellow cat weasel known in the ring uh, but of course his real name and one of the reasons why he changed it gary cooper well, that's how easily a man like kirkwood can break a four nelson from cat weasel Come on, let's see right again. Again. Come on. no trouble You try it on me, and see if I can break it that easily. <laughs> Just looks easy. Look at that, got him. So, a little bit of wrestling there with a nice... Uh, Double handed wrist lever counted by the head scissors. Very good. And only a minute to go in this uh, first round, believe it or not. I think Kirkwood could hold that for a long time on that system. Let's see if uh, Cat Weasel changes the system. <laughs> yes, he changed it. <laughs> Very neat, very neat. And Kirkwood taking it beautifully. Slight smile on his face. Oh, not again, no. Again, the Sammy Jack's trying to hold, which obviously Cat Weasel not too keen on happening again. Well, Bob Kirkwood of Portsmouth, 14 stone 6, the mid-heavyweight limit of course being 14-13, he's always been in the mid-heavyweight bracket, I don't think he's changed a pawn since we first saw him on television, way back in the late 60s. He turned pro in uh, 63 or 4, we first saw him on television about 68. Bob Kirkwood of Portsmouth, and he's just returned from... Uh, Quite a tour of Zambia, Kenya, and Nigeria. And that's why we haven't seen him recently. Second way, round two. <laughs> round two, five to go. No score, two falls to decide this contest. And a pretty interesting preliminary bout it will be i wouldn't say it's going to be all great wrestling but it's uh, going to be a lot of fun and the packed crowd here at the fairfield hall of croydon enjoying it very much but maybe looking forward more to the main bout which follows the kendo nagasaki versus prince kumari that very big man from georgetown guyana Well, yes, that's a successful week now, and uh, Kirkwood, 
That's not a bad head, Mary, either on the much bigger man. A stone and a half over the pound. Had reason giving away here. <laughs> I hesitate to give that throw a name. <laughs> Unfortunately for Kirk, he can't retaliate on that one. <laughs> which, which, uh, Catwiz really folds him up at. <laughs> <laughs> you had him. That's a very high back hammer that uh, Kirk was got there. Look at that hand right between the blades. There. Two minutes to go in the second round. Kirk Wood decided to give the real treatment to this uh, cat whistle left arm. He's been out of wrestling for a while, Cat Weasel, anyway. And it is the right shoulder, actually, that's getting in the trouble over here, not the left. Obviously, Kirkwood doesn't know that. But it's a very high backhammer indeed. In fact, he can <laughs> hold his own. <laughs> Just a minute to go, round two. <laughs> Held beautifully in a side headlock. Taking him over for double leg Nelson. Kirkwood quite easily into the first hole in round two. Ladies and gentlemen, in round two, and with the double leg Nelson, the first ball to Bob. And it took him just four minutes, 15 seconds into round two. And it looks very much like as though Kirkwood uh, really could take this any time he wanted. But uh, on the other hand, he's a good sportsman. I think everybody's enjoying the fun. He'll probably enjoy it as much as anybody. Second away, round three. So four rounds to go with Kirkwood in the plane tracks on the right there, leading Cat Weasel by one fall and error. Interesting to see whether Cat Weasel can fool him into submitting to one fall in the air. I rather doubt it unless Kirkwood really is uh, caught completely unawares. Yes, <laughs> clearing that time nicely by Hammer. It's the sort of trick that might uh, wind up Kirkwood in some sort of trouble, but uh, I can't think it'll last too long. Back to the stomach for the vengeance there. Inside hit chance we follow up. Uh, that 
double-handed wrist lever that Cat Weasel has on Kirkman's left hand. And he's managing to hold it right against the joint, too. No! He's all of it now, right? Yeah, come on, man. Couple of minutes to go in this third. No. Cat Weasel looking quite happy when you can see the expression on his face. No. Which is not often. But first, to really appreciate the excellent throw there back. Are you married? Oh. <laughs> and, uh, Max Ward very quick in on that one. Oh. Oh. A leg spread with a difference. A minute to go in the third. The spine drop into Cat Weasel's left knee. <laughs> no, didn't even touch. Cat went a little too high. Right. Kirkwood. His high inside leg measurement won't help him here. Right in the bell, round three. Let's go over to the cat weasel corner. There is that toad that he brings in as his mascot. Cat Weasel from Doncaster, actually Hexthorpe, near Doncaster. 13 stone of him. And there he is, this uh, Gary Cooper. We first saw him in 71 and has created a lot of amusement on the times we've seen him since. One year amateur experience before turning pro in 70. His hobby is visiting and entertaining the kids in the orphanages around his own. Round four. So three rounds to go, and still Bob Kirkwood in the plain trunks with his back to us. From Portsmouth, leading Cat Weasel of Doncaster by one fold and L. That's all he gained in the second. Three rounds to go. And a little bit high there, Cat Weasel too. <laughs> Put it in his head, that's it. <laughs> Still Kirkwood managing to raise a smile there when he's fooled. Kirkwood, I don't think he's grinning so much now. Very little at all in this man's hair. You can't uh, get the expression on his face, which is a pity because... He's quite a character. Team. Oh yes, that 
Chapman. As Chapman was expecting the forearm smash again and got the headbutt instead. A nice switch by Carrizon. Oh, he missed that one now. Kirkwood over the top and landed very badly from that. It's going to worry his back. I'm afraid he's going to be worried by that. I don't think he'll allow it to go on. An unfortunate incident there is going to finish this bout, which has been so amusing and such good fun. Lovely exhibition of fun, but unfortunate finish from Kirkwood's point of view. La bad landing on that back. Let's hear Mike Judd, our ma master of ceremonies, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately the referee has had to stop the contest in favour of Cat Weasel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure Cat Weasel wouldn't want it to end this way, but nevertheless he is the winner and I'm sure you give him a very big round of applause. There's a little about... Uh, The back uh, muscles and things, obviously. He knows a little tiny bit about osteopathy. <laughs> Unfortunate finish. So, technical knockout, Cat Weasel in round four. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Big round of applause for both these men, Bob Kirkwood and the winner, Cat Weasel.